Good morning, students. Today we we will continue with the same lesson, humidity, and we are going to focus on two topics. That is precipitation and types of rainfall. Now, what do we mean by the term precipitation? In simple words. Precipitation refers to the moisture received by the earth in any form. It can be rainfall, drizzle, snowfall, sleet, hailstone. So there are different types of precipitation that is moisture which is received by the earth in any form. So let us now learn what is rainfall. Now we can all see or we all have experienced rainfall. Now rainfall is the most common form of precipitation. Large sized water droplets fall from the clouds on the surface of the earth as rainfall. As far as snowfall is concerned, this is also a form of precipitation which occurs in the form of crystals of ice. Whenever the temperature falls below freezing point, precipitation takes place in the form of fine snowflakes. Here you can see how fine slow snowflakes are dropping. You'll be very surprised to know that each snowflake has got a different design. No two snowflakes have got the same design, just like our fingerprints. Next, we come to hail. Now, hail or hailstorm or hailstone is another form of precipitation which consists of pellets or balls of ice with concentric layered structure usually associated with the strong convection current of air in cumulonimbus clouds and they fall along with rain or sometimes all by themselves. Very often they are very destructive, they damage standing crops and they are often associated with thunder and lightning. Now, how do a hailstorm occur? Now, it so happens that raindrops formed in the clouds begin to fall as rain. Here you can see how these raindrops are trying to fall as rain. But Due to a very heated earth, a warm up drought occurs. And this up drought of air current carries all these raindrops into much higher altitude where they freeze and they become crystals of ice. When these try to fall, they pass through the clouds full of water droplets. The water droplets which come in contact with the ice freeze around the balls of ice forming concentric layers around the ice pellets. Thus, the size of pellets become larger and they become so heavy that the rising air current cannot now hold them. So ultimately they fall on the ground as hailstorms. Here you can see how hailstorms are falling and if you look closely you will find that they are balls of ice. Next, we come to the different types of rainfall. 
Basically, there are three types of rainfall, convectional rainfall, orographic rainfall, and cyclonic rainfall. Let us learn first about convectional rainfall. Now the convectional rainfall is caused by convectional currents. The intense heating of the air due to extremely hot surface and abundance of moisture are favorable factors which cause this type of rainfall. Convectional rainfall is very common in the equatorial region due to the vertical rays of the sun throughout the year. The air gets heated by conduction that is coming in contact with the hot ground. Due to the intense heating of land, strong convectional currents originate. So you can see strong convectional currents are originating. The warm air has more capacity of holding moisture. The warm air uh, rises because it is having a larger volume. The ascending air rises to a higher altitude, spreads and gets cooled adiabatically, which means not much heat is liberated. The temperature falls and cumulus and cumulus cumulonimbus clouds are formed. The heavy clouds drop very heavy torrential rain, often accompanied by thunder and lightning. The convectional rainfall occurs between 2 to 4 p.m. In the equatorial regions, especially when condensation occurs resulting in heavy rainfall. The equatorial regions receive rainfall to a tune of more than 200 centimeters. Tropical grasslands and the interiors of the continents also receive such type of rainfall in the summer season due to intense heating of the land. Orographic or relief rainfall. Now this type of rainfall is caused by the cooling of the moisture laden air as it rises over a relief or a barrier. So here we can see how the winds are made to rise over this barrier. When the moisture laden winds are unable to cross the mountain lying as a barrier, they are forced to ascend, that is they are forced to rise up. The sudden ascent causes cooling of the air leading to condensation and precipitation. Here we can see clouds get formed and the side of the mountain which is the windward side that is the side from where the wind is coming heavy rainfall begins to occur when the winds cross the mountain barrier they have very little moisture left thus the leeward side of the barrier receives very low amount of rainfall it leads to a rain shadow or a leeward side of the mountain where always exists a relatively dry area which is known as the rain shadow area. <clears throat> now frontal rainfall. Frontal or cyclonic rainfall. Here we find precipitation is associated with passage of tropical or temperate depression in middle the green areas the green um, arrows 
are showing areas which experience tropical cyclones and the higher latitudes experience temperate cyclones. Here we can see the cold polar air mass and the warm westerly air mass blowing from opposite direction converge near the subpolar low pressure belt. So when two air masses with different physical properties converge, the warm moist air meets the cold heavier air mass. Now they can't get mixed because they have extreme differences in nature. The one is warm, the other is cold. So a front gets developed. Warm air being lighter ascends over the cold air mass along the front while the cold air mass settles down. The moisture carried by the warm air cools which leads to condensation and rainfall begins to occur. So here we can see how condensation is occurring due to the warm air traveling over the cold air forming a front and moderate precipitation is occurring. In case of temperate cyclones, the warm air mass rises over the cold air mass obliquely and gradually. So the condensation is very gradual and slow. The precipitation is in the form of drizzle. That is why it is known as moderate precipitation. Widespread drizzle is formed by rain and squalls as the cold front passes. A tropical cyclone, on the other hand, gives heavy rainfall as the warm air rises vertically due to convection. Warm moist air reaches to the higher altitude due to convection and it gets saturated giving very heavy rainfall which is accompanied by thunder and lightning. So here we can see the ocean being very warm. Warm air begins to rise and get condensed due to the height bringing very heavy rainfall which is known as the cyclonic rainfall and they are mainly confined to the tropical regions. Tropical cyclones are known as typhoons, hurricanes, tornadoes and they give rainfall in the eastern coast of continents in the tropical belt. So students, today we learnt about precipitation and the different types of rainfall. So that is what we have enough time for today. Thank you.